Hello dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story channel videos. Today my dear friends we will talk about the Quran case relief valve. The main purpose of this valve as you can see it always tell its names. So relief valve to relieve some kind of pressure that can be created in the our crankcase. This is the main point of this uh, relief valve. First of all I like to thank you that you have subscribed to the channel and also your thumbs is always on the top of the video. Don't forget also to press the bell button so you will have any further notification about the lives, about the videos and more. So the current case, this is a, there is a one case that can create it so much pressure. So these relief valves will be operated and that case will be when we have some damage on our main bearing and we have a lot of friction between the metals and after that because we have a lubrication there because we have a lot of oil as the temperature will be increased on the some a point of friction there will be created also by the time a mist this kind of mist uh, it's really really a uh, dangerous and also it really really promote the explosion uh, because as we know and as we everybody have seen our engine crankcase it's really really big and there is also a creation of atmosphere which is really really flammable because as you have seen our engine our case of engine our engine case it's really really big and there is a lot of air itself trapped from the doors that we are opening through the time and uh, in case that oil mist fire or explosion will take place this uh, crank release valve will release the excess pressure uh, the excess pressure that will be created inside so we will not have a deformation of the engine itself in the structure of the engine <coughs> sorry and also we will not have any kind of doors flying from uh, one place or another that's why we need to verify that this crankcase relief valves are in operational condition are in good condition and let's see and let's took a quick and close view on the demonstration i have removed this kind of uh, equipment and also i have removed this kind of equipment in the smaller engine but nothing changed it's really really all the same as we have seen there is some kind of bolts that are that have been I bolt it all the piece together and really really it's going like that there will be some gasket or yes probably this is a gasket and as you can see we will place also our our, our, our lovely wooden place and now as you can see everything is disconnected and we have these discs these discs is uh, some kind of silencers which will expel the excess pressure but will make it okay it removed everything okay there is a metal membrane here there is a spring and o-ring yes what problem i had I had uh, the problem with the o-ring it's really really difficult to put it back because there is a lot of uh, oil around there and it slides around one moment one moment we will go back here for the disassembly and I will the disassembly procedure but what I like to tell you is one moment let's go a little bit up and this kind of engines uh, that i was working previously also had this set uh, because this engine have a big capacity of air 
and also the mixture, the explosion mixture that will be created, it will be really, really big. So let's remove that cover from here. It will be our hand. We remove all together. Next, we will remove the gasket. Uh, for sure, another thing that when you are putting them, you must uh, check them one by one for cleanliness, if they are cleaned and what condition uh, is the spring, if also your uh, membrane, the metal membrane is movable, how it works and how it moves. But you can check it. Uh, in a, another good a tip that you can check the working condition you can unscrew this bolt here and press with one screwdriver to see if it's moving or not uh, this is a quick uh, tip about that so let's remove because here it's your and let's see this is the cover here here probably it's the membrane yes yes it's here the membrane and as you can see, our spring is like that because uh, it will have a bigger surface when this metal membrane will be opened and slide on the side. As the spring will be pressed, it will get slowly and slowly more surface from the spring to stop it. But everything is calculated here. So let's remove the bolts. And these kind of uh, discs, uh, as I told you before, they are working like silencer and they try as much as possible also reduce the speed of the sound and the noise itself because really, really I don't know if this equipment was not uh, presented there. I don't know what, uh, what will happen next it will be really really disastrous uh, situation so let's see okay it remove also this and separate also the spring let's see it okay if this bolt, as you can see also here, this bolt holds the spring itself, probably you cannot remove it uh, from there. Let's take the membrane, the metal membrane. And also probably you have not any kind, if uh, you have not any access from here, you will not have uh, any viewpoint of what's going inside. But for overhauling such equipment, really, my dear friends, uh, you must have some spares of these O-rings. Okay, one membrane will be enough. And another thing also, if you don't have this O-ring and if it's old, probably, uh, as I have seen, that vessel was around 12 years or something like that. Yes, 12 years old. Here slowly slowly starts some leakages on the bottom and uh, the most uh, common case the leakage will occur here because the liquid is much more easier to leak from here than from the top so let's place also our silencer our discs and here this whole procedure seems really really easy in the simulator but in really uh, real situations when you are removing this kind of uh, disc everything here it's really really heavy and for sure uh, you will need some hands to lift it all that to stick all the discs together and all these discs are uh, separatable but there is not any necessary to separate them uh, you can blow them by air to check that they are free and uh, this is some kind of silencer that uh, we told before the most important is here the disc the uh, 
uh, our surfaces to be sealed properly by the o-ring where is our o-ring let's see here okay here it is let's place in position and in the most case this o-ring will be uh, damaged so next on we will put our membrane next of that we will turn our cover and assign the spring also will be set it here but really really my dear friends it's really heavy to remove them and just imagine that here the height the about let's say the middle of the engineers the height of the engineers about from here so you will need some kind of chain block to remove from there because it's really really uh, dangerous to climb here or step your foot somewhere here or to be on uh, the ladder everything must be secured and always my dear friends uh, calculate your time so do not pick up uh, all of them and try to fix them it, the best solution is to pick up one by one and if you are not finishing finishing them all you will continue to the next uh, port or let's say if you are uh, on anchorage uh, and you have time that uh, uh, and you, you know exactly the news that you are going in one week it will be a good opportunity to make some kind of this overhauling one or two pieces to see uh, the condition and to have some kind of uh, view so you can pick up let's say this one and one from the bottom or you can pick up two of bottom so it will be more easy for you and check the overall condition so if you find them that uh, they are in good shape it's not necessary to remove all of them so let's place our gasket back again and okay our gasket is back again and yes and also you must have these gaskets these gaskets also really really important and from here also there is a uh, leakages uh, most of the times so just imagine you must put it there there is also a angle on the engine case and after that you will need to bolt it them first of all okay you need to catch one of the bolts and then and then assign all the other bolts without tightening them uh, and after that slowly slowly you will tie them one by one and um, equally if there is also any kind of uh, torque intometers it will be really really nice uh, to apply them and it's also appropriate because it will not damage the gasket or uh, the o-ring itself as i remember there must be some uh, tightening but always refer your book so here we have finished our engine simulator our man bmw engine simulator and in the next videos we will see also uh, some kind of manuals if you like and i leave this to you i'm waiting your comments if you like to see also to compare the from the book uh, all the procedures that we made it before and also uh, we will have our manual here in the one page in the other page we will have also our uh, instrumentation and our spare parts so we'll have this kind of uh, interaction uh, but this will take more time I'm waiting for your comments what you would look like to see for the moment 
Uh, don't forget to check the previous videos. Don't forget to check and also your thumbs in the top and don't forget to press the bell button for any further notifications from adventure store channel my dear friends see you in the next videos bye bye